everyone, my name is Catherine. Welcome back to my channel. I make videos about dyeing, sewing, and upcycling. If that sounds like something you're into, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. I put out a new tutorial every Thursday. So today I'm going to make a plaid pattern for you and I think it turned out really nice. Anyway, if you enjoy this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to put all of the links for the supplies that I use down in the description below. And I started with a 100% pre-washed t-shirt and I'm going to put it in some soda ash solution. This is just a little bit of soda ash solution. I usually make it about six cups of water to two thirds of a cup of soda ash. Um, so I'm just going to let this soak and sit for 20 minutes before I take it out. Then I'm gonna take it out of the soda ash solution, wring it out and let it dry flat. And I'm going to try to um, make the seams uh, flat as possible and I'm just gonna let it dry completely. And I actually ended up moving it to a piece of paper off of this plastic because I think that that helps it dry faster. So after it's dried, I'm gonna take this plastic piece and fold it up to be the size of the body of the t-shirt and I'm going to slide it inside the t-shirt so that the front and the back stay separate when I put the glue on the t-shirt. So I'm just gonna get it in there as well as I can for the body. And then for the sleeves, I'm just going to fold up some smaller pieces of plastic. I happen to have these gloves so I put them inside of the sleeves just to keep the sleeves from sticking together, the front and the back sticking together. So next I'm gonna draw my plaid on with a T-square and this disappearing marker that is actually used mostly for quilting, but I use it all the time. And I will link it down in the description below in case you wanna pick up one of these markers but it disappears after a few hours. So I am starting by making sure that my first lines are actually going to avoid those stains because the lines are gonna be what stays white. So I'm just going to measure out my lines and I'm doing two inches and five eighths for each line and so I'm just going to measure them all out and draw them all out. So I do the horizontal lines first and then I'm gonna come in and do the vertical ones next. And I'm just using the T-square to line it up to make sure it's as square as possible. It's a little tricky to get it perfect, but this is just a guide. I'm going to be uh, drawing glue on there next. So, you know, this is just for me so that I can aim to get the glue along these lines. So after I was finished doing the front, I also did the back, which is not pictured here, but I did draw the plaid on the back. Now I'm gonna come in with my blue gel washable glue. And again, I'll link that in the description down below for you. And I'm going to just draw the lines as smoothly as I can. I just went slow and um, took my time with this. I wanted to make sure that the lines were even and I was pushing uh, the glue bottle evenly the whole time because it's easy to get breaks in the lines. So here is the front and it's going to dry completely before I turn it over and do the back. It takes about 24 hours for the, dr the glue to totally dry. So I am just gonna let it sit and then turn it over and do the same on the other side. So this has been completely drawn on the front and the back now with the glue, as you can see. And I'm gonna go in and re-wet it with my drop cloth down and it's time to add the dye. So I have um, some gray here. This is steel gray from Dharma. And I'm coming in and I'm just drawing a line just to the right of all of the vertical lines. And I'm just going quickly so that I 
don't let it pool up and the shirt is a little damp so that I get some um, bleed on the dye which is really beautiful if you're interested in learning more about different dyeing techniques be sure to go to my website onyxartstudios.com and check out my online dyeing classes I have live online dyeing classes and Skillshare workshops that you can watch I have a link on my website for Skillshare if you want to try Skillshare premium for 14 days free and you can sign up for my mailing list so that you never miss a new course or a new date. Next, I'm coming in with navy. I'm going to put the dye just below the glue line. It will bleed, but I just want to keep it um, under control and I want there to be some negative space in sort of a square pattern. So this is a little bit like a window pane plaid. Like I mentioned before, I spent a lot of time drawing plaids and uh, window panes are really nice. So you see, I am just covering up that little splotch of dye that was there. It was like a red splotch. I'm gonna make sure it's dyed over with the navy. And I'm just methodically going through and making sure all the lines look relatively even. I mean, obviously this technique is all about kind of letting the dye do what it wants to do and bleed where it wants to bleed within reason. <laughs> I want to try to control it a little bit, um, but I'm also just kind of letting it do what it's going to do, which is giving it a really pretty, um, almost like a hand painted watercolor feeling. So there it is. And I'm just going to come in and touch it up a little bit. I just want to make sure I like the layout. So now I'm going to let it sit overnight and let the dye really start to settle into the cotton fibers. I'm going to check on it periodically to make sure that it's not getting dried out. If it does start to get dried out, I will spray it with that water bottle a little bit, but it looks really nice. And now I'm going to start to rinse it. I rinsed it out until the water ran clear with uh, cold just to make sure that the dye the excess dye was out then i am putting a little synthropol in there and just getting more of that excess dye out i let it soak in some warm soapy water for about 24 hours to kind of loosen up that glue and i want to make sure that i don't have the glue stuck on it at all so here it is, I've changed the water again and I've let it soak overnight. You can see that there's still a little bit of glue residue on those stripes. So, but it's been soaking for so long that it's really softened up and I'm gonna put it into the washer and um, wash it on super hot and just get that agitation going. And um, that's gonna help to break up that glue more if yours still has the glue after you've washed it you can wash it again and soak it again this one i ended up soaking for another 24 hours and then washing again in the washer before i dried it once you dry it that's what's going to set that glue so if it has crusty bits of glue on it and you dry it it's going to make that glue stay on there for longer i'm sure it'll come off eventually but um, I just wanted to make sure that the glue was totally off, so I soaked it for about 48 hours in total. Here it is, totally finished. I think it turned out really cute. I wanna make one for myself. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. You can go and follow me at my social media, Onyx Art Studios, and you can check out my website for my online dyeing workshops, Live and Skillshare. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys next time.